Emotion. It's the missing link that engineering must rediscover if it's to attract the brightest young minds. You see, the question that institutions, government and companies have been asking is why are so many of the young turning away from a career in engineering? Well, there's a fundamental missing factor, emotional engagement, the importance of which those in the consumer sector have come to fully understand. It's all about presenting your proposition in a way that relates to the values of your audience. And it's something that companies like Apple, Nike, BMW, Dyson, and the fashion and entertainment industries have by the bucket load. Just a few generations ago, much of our society was totally engaged with engineering. It was on their doorsteps. People lived and breathed it. It was often tough, dirty work, but it created a sense of community and purpose, and it built and defended our country. Nowadays, unless there's a catastrophe, engineering rarely hits the news. Have you noticed there are no engineering correspondents? It's never core to a film plot. Engineers are never characters in films or soaps, and it gets barely a mention in new media. It's never discussed on chat shows, with one exception, cars. And that's because they arouse emotions in us. So why this change in public acknowledgement? Today, most of our traditional product and heavy engineering has gone. But instead, there's a new generation, business to business organizations, pushing technical boundaries often in highly specialized fields. Because their customers are other engineers and not the general public, they focus on a language of specification, data and performance. It's all left-hand side of the brain information because that's what's necessary for them to do business. But there's no mention of people, why the company exists, its social purpose, the attractions of the work, the very elements which might entice a non-engineer to be curious. So over the years, engineering has slowly built a barrier, isolating itself from the interests and chatter of most ordinary people. In comparison with other professions, engineering has virtually no public relations. So it's not surprising that journalists and media producers, who are the conduit for what we read, see and hear, remain disinterested. Not surprising too that teachers, career advisors and parents know little about our engineering, even if it's on their doorstep. So if you truly want to raise your profile, you must take a lead from the consumer market add a dimension to what we say about ourselves, present the social value of what we do, talk of the challenges of the future and why people are important to our work. Do some right side thinking.